August here. Hey, uh, I'm at uh, Fontana, Fontana um, Village Resort right now. Um, I guess I gotta come forward and say that I, uh, I'm a little upset right now because, to be honest with you, if I could, if I could start over knowing what I know now, I wouldn't even do it as far as the mission is concerned because, you know, the mission was to, um, let minorities see the beauty of the trail and the experience of the AT, right? But the thing is, you know, while the trail is nice, you can't have one without the other. You can't have the trail without the town experience, without the support that you get from the from the locals and from the uh, from the businesses that service the surrounding areas. And I gotta tell you, so far it's been one disappointment after another. Now I understand things change, okay? When I went through in 2007, it was it was perfect. But it, even since then, before then, it it was always on point. It always called me back and called me back, you know. Um, 2008 being the last time that I was here, believe it or not, I still had a good experience, with the exception of one thing. When I got to the Whites, where um, it's the presidential range where you can do work for stays in the huts, this one girl just absolutely did not want to follow the rules and honor the tradition that the hut has, like first come, first serve, do your thing. She just refused to let me, uh, to, to let to let me and my uh, hiking buddy, uh, you know, do the work for, for steak, you know? And it, it, you know what, it pissed me off so much, I just went around the whites, I just abandoned it. And I guess I take a little bit of blame for that because I keep living in this memory, in this facade. I keep thinking that it's gonna be like it was, you know, three years ago. And you know what, I guess I just have to wake up now because from the four years, from 2008 until now, all it did was getting worse, you know, I mean, yeah, the trail is beautiful, but the caliber of people have changed, it's like, it's just different, so let's just say this, um, at this point, you know, I, I mean, I, I can't in good conscience suggest that a minority take two thousand dollars of their money and come out here because it's like I said it's just not the same I'll give you a couple of for for, for instances um, as far as the people go uh, the first day out you know I came across this uh, couple boy girl um, Sk uh, Skittles and Foster I believe that's her trail names but the thing is I looked out for these youngsters you know the girl didn't have any sunglasses I gave her a pair of seventy dollar Oakley's right uh, she left her um, they left their camera at a shelter, okay, and and I and I assured them, dude, somebody's gonna bring that camera down. That's just the way the trail works. Okay, two days later, naturally somebody brought the camera down, and because they were kids on a budget and really couldn't re reward the person like I thought they should have, it just so happens when I got to Neil's Gap, I saw that person. I said, you know what? I'm gonna pay for this hostel for you because what you did was a good thing. You know, it it it, it just. It just rekindled my faith in the trail and all that. And now come to find out that this that, that Skittles is going ahead of me on the trail telling people that I said it's okay for grown men to fuck 12-year-old girls. I don't know where she get this shit from, right? So now I'm sitting here, excuse my language. So I'm, I'm sitting there hiking on the trail, and, you know, and I see these people like, oh, August, I heard about you, you know, and I'm saying in the back of my mind, okay, what did you hear? Some bullshit this girl's saying or the videos or this, that, and the other, and it's just, you know what? excuse my language, but it's just fucking with my whole experience. I'm going to go ahead and do the trail. I mean, I didn't put the money out. I'm fit enough. I'm going to go ahead and do it. But as far as the videos and all that, I'm just going to squash it. It's not, it's just because I, I, I'd be selling something false, okay? Um, I'm going to post this video of what I'm doing now. And I'm going to post the footage that I have from the start until Fontana Dam. But to go forward, you know, as a means to try to sell something that I want everybody else to do, I'd, I'd just be lying. And all it can do at this point, from what I can see, is just get worse. For example, we get to the NOC, right? And I buy a pint of Ben and & Jerry's, and it's $6.50. Now, I mean, really, that's just straight highway robbery. Now, I'm not cheap. I have the money. But the point I'm trying to say is that it was a time, okay, where where the support for the hikers was there. It's not like they're trying to rip you off, you know? So it's like now, you gotta pay somebody $25 just to go to Walmart so you can resupply without having the local people fleece you. I mean, it's, 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 it's just crazy. Um, 
I'm at Fontana Dam right now, you know, and uh, and it used to be, you know, you can get shuttles for do donations and whatnot because they understand about the hikers. Man, they, they're, just, they're just like, open the door $3. Before we move, I want $3 from all of y'all. I'm talking about shaking you down, right? And then we get up here and it's like, dude, the prices are, are like through the roof, like $3 to wash clothes. And that's not counting the dryer. You know, the dryer is like, you put in a quarter and it's like eight minutes. It was never like that before. And now, you know, I will say say this in their defense, you know, I heard somebody say, well, why isn't there a coin machine inside the laundromat, you know? And the lady was like, well, because hikers tear the thing off the wall. And, and you know, I, I hear what she's saying, but these aren't hikers. I don't know what these people are. These are people that are vagrants, vagabonds that come on the trail because they don't have money. And I guess they just go through and just, you know, ruin it for everybody else, I, I guess. There used to be things called hiker boxes, okay? And what that happens is when a hiker has too much food, they drop it off in the box. And other hikers that don't have enough can, can like, you know, uh, take what they need from the box, you know, like a give and take. I have, I mean, it's been the worst. The hiker's boxes have been terrible, if any. You know, there was nothing at the NOC. There was nothing here. And the lady said, well, this guy came and dropped everything, and this one guy came and took it all. So it's just, uh, it's just really, really crazy right now. Okay, I gotta sign off.